I found this fun shower curtain. I'm going to start by painting the table. Use a utility knife and run it along the edge. I want to seal the paint to protect it. Put a layer of Mod Podge all over the glass. And now I'm going to lay the shower curtain onto it. I want to trim off the excess. Add one more layer of Mod Podge over the top for added protection. This little table is so cute now. Perfect for sunny days on the balcony. Get this clay pot sealer and give it a nice gentle spray. Give them a coat. This Rust-Oleum, this silicone glue, waterproof, flexible. Pull my, my jute rope right into it. So I'm gonna do the same thing right there. Open up the silicone. Put this all around the top. Centered right on there. There we have my side table. I think this is exactly what you might wanna make this summer. To start, I'm gonna need a wood crate and I'm gonna give this a good coat of paint here. So I'm gonna flip that desktop over. Then I'm just gonna drill some holes and add some screws. To dress it up, I'm just gonna add a table runner, faux greenery, some lemons, and a few candles. I'm adding some cushions to the ground and this makes the perfect outdoor seating area. And grab some planters right off the shelf, some primer, and some textured finish. We're gonna go with this square base. So we're gonna put some glue here right around the edges. And I'm just gonna wipe it around the edge just like this. Put it right on top. This waterproof container right here, flip it over. I can just take the glue now and just put it all inside here. Go ahead and take our pot, put it right inside there. We're gonna go ahead and put some glue right on top. Wanna make sure that we get it just centered perfectly. And I wanna put on a good coat of primer. I went with an off-white cream color. Get every square inch. Look at how good that looks right at your front door. So this is the old footboard and headboard. To remove the wheels, measure the footboards, and now I'm using a jigsaw to cut down the line. Turn my footboard over and cut from the top. I trimmed off the top piece as well. I cut out the third spindle on each piece. Using a drill, I drilled three pilot holes to secure the screws tightly in place. I did this in the exact same way I did the other side. I cut two pieces of wood. I placed my wood pieces in place. I used a miter saw to cut all the vertical pieces. I placed them vertically. I wanted to paint my bench first before fixating them. I placed the vertical slats in place. I secured the slots into place. Now that my bench was completed and finished, I placed it here on the porch.
To get the table ready, I'm going to start by giving it a quick clean. Next, I want to give it a light sanding. I want to wipe it again. I like to start with the pedestal first and then do the top. I'm going to add and combine some water with some white paint. To apply the wash, I'm going to use this chip brush because the bristles are natural and uneven. To soften up those lines a little bit, I can wipe them with just a damp paper towel. I absolutely love how pretty this table is now and how much the lighter color changes its look. Grab your hot glue gun. I'm going to start at one end of the mold and fill it slowly with the glue. The first mold is dry now, so I'm going to go ahead and peel it out. I can trim off any little strings and overflow. I'm going to give it two coats of a creamy white paint. Some all-purpose glue on the back of each one will be enough to adhere it to the furniture piece. I'm going to paint them using the same paint that I used on the stand. So I'm going to put a layer of clear soft wax all over everything. I'm going to use some dark wax and a small brush to push it into all of those little details. And do a little sanding around the edges just to add some faux age. It was so easy to add such pretty details with some hot glue and a couple of molds. I've drawn a line straight down the middle of the drawers and I'm going to use a red and a blue paint. When the first colour has dried, I then take the other colour and paint on top of it. Then take your spray bottle and spritz over the wet paint and then set a timer for three minutes. When the time is up, we have to start removing the water now and I use a toilet roll. Now I'm moving on to the top of the dresser and I've split the top in half. Now all my drawers are done and dry and I'm taking a stencil and some modeling paste and applying it to the stencil. I finished off the dresser by doing the stencil again on the top and here it is. I hope you enjoyed this and you're inspired to have a go at this crazy technique. I'm giving this little side table a makeover. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually give it a coat of black paint. Now I've taken some creamy white paint and I've added water to it. I've ripped up some newspaper and I'm going to apply some of this paint. Taking pieces of the scrunched up paper, I press it into the paint and wiggle it around. Keep repeating the process until you get to the end. Now the tabletop is dry, I'm going to use this stencil. I'm going to give two coats of this gloss decorators varnish. Here's my finished tabletop. I think it looks quite effective. It's a very easy technique to do. Mm -hmm.